Osteopathy is a system of manual medicine developed in the late 1800s in the United States by Dr. Andrew Taylor Still. Today there's about 60,000 osteopaths practicing around the world, about 1,200 in Australia. In Australia, osteopathy is now a five year double degree course offered at three universities. Osteopaths area of expertise is the musculoskeletal system and how it affects your general health, your mobility, your pain, and therefore your quality of life. By musculoskeletal system, I mean your muscles, bones, joints, nerves, discs, ligaments, tendons, fascia, blood vessels, and lymphatics. Quite a mouthful. So for the sake of simplicity, think of it as your muscles, bones, and joints. As an osteopath, I mobilize joints, realign bones, and release muscular tension, imbalance, and strain. Simple really, but the effect can be profound. This is what I want to teach you to do for yourself. Mobilize your joints, realign your bones, and release muscular tension, imbalance, and strain. This information is designed to stand on its own, but there's still only so much you can do for yourself. In this presentation, I can only address generalities, similarities, and basic principles. If you have pain or other musculoskeletal problems, I strongly recommend you go and see an osteopath for individual biomechanical assessment, treatment, and advice. Now, there's a great deal of variation in how osteopaths work. No two of us work exactly the same way. I have a very physical push, pull, press, rub, stretch, mobilize, manipulate way of treating collectively referred to as structural osteopathy. This type of osteopathy is the single best way that I know of to effectively deal with the most common problems that cause and contribute to chronic and recurring muscle joint and back pain. If you want my advice when you get treatment, ask for this type of treatment, structural osteopathy. If you don't have access to an osteopath, seek out some other suitably qualified and skilled hands-on professional. Most of the acute or acute on chronic problems that I deal with take two or three treatments to resolve. Once you get over an acute episode, the golden rule is to keep stretching and exercising, especially stretching, because avoiding these sorts of problems is so much smarter than fixing them up. It is strongly recommended that you get medical clearance before you start stretching and exercising. Why it hurts and what you can do about it continues with part nine, sitting properly. For lots more information or to get the DVD of Bruce's clinically proven stretches, check out jointandbackpain.com. You can help yourself if you know what to do.